I think one big misconception about meditation is that you're supposed to be in a space void of feeling and void of thinking. Ultimately, when I started my practice, that was my goal. Um, I love to perfect things. I love to work hard at things. And so I thought eventually I would be in a space where I wouldn't be thinking and wouldn't be feeling things that were uncomfortable or I didn't want to feel. And ultimately this resistance led to even more difficult emotions and even more difficult thoughts because what we resist persists. And so, and so instead of doing a rigid meditation where you're trying to shut everything out, it's more helpful to acknowledge exactly what you're feeling and then understanding ways in which you can express that feeling. And so if you are feeling angry, noticing where you feel anger in the body, noticing what you sense in your thought process when anger arises, noticing how in one word or one noise or one movement can you express that anger rather than being so caught up in the anger and trying to push it away that it just gets internalized or impressed inside oneself. Ultimately, if we want to be present in this moment, we have to understand our emotions and our thoughts because it is true, we can think emotionally and we can oftentimes think in the future and in the past. And so these aren't bad things. This is a natural process for us as humans. But when we consider and can become aware of this happening, it doesn't have to make our decisions for us. When we're angry, we don't have to react. When we have uh, a bunch of thoughts about the future, we can still remain present right here. So again, it's not judging these processes coming up. It's finding a way to acknowledge them and then deciding to take conscious responsibility of them. Hope that helps.